Hi, everybody. Okay, strike the blood time. Um, yeah. This gets a 5 out of 5. Okay, I'm a little confused. Okay, I'm a little confused about this episode. Are we, now, we last week we had the whole thing with the ending. I was pretty shocking. I'm a little confused. Okay, we had the thing with Yuma and Natsuki. Now, rest assured, Natsuki's not dead. She's not. But the, the, the explanation there was, was kind of interesting how... Yeah, they're, they're spinning that. But I want to focus on the beginning of the episode. We have the scene where Kujo is screaming that the Natsuki's been stabbed. And, you know, we see the first, the, you know, the ancestor, the first progenitor. He's looking on saying, oh no, she died daughter of, you know, so on and so forth, and he attacks somebody, and we see who it is. I had no idea who that person was. Now I do. That's Kujo's sister, Nagisa. What? <laughs> it gets worse. There's even a bigger mind fuck than that. Because she's fighting the first, you know, progenitor, the answer's first progenitor. And gives him, invites him, you know, puts, puts him down, and says, give him a warning about, a warning about Cujo. You know, and saying that it's not over yet, and she just leaves. We see this woman near a car. Okay, you know who that woman is? That's Kujo's mother. And she tells her, the girl that's coming in, which is Nagisa, thank you for protecting her. I don't know what she's referencing, and she says, oh my, oh my. And that's where the scene ends. The reason, it, 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 it didn't occur to me, it didn't occur to me until like halfway through the episode. When halfway through the episode, I thought to my, I was looking, you know, they go to, because they go to, let me, let me get you, drop down what happens. So, you, they get sent, Kujo and Himuraki get sent outside of the prison. And the, and, and basically the, the, the prison the actual prison um, door hasn't been brought open, but the actual door has been. In other words, basically what happened was Natsuki was stabbed, but she wasn't killed. So she's still alive. Now, in this confusion, Yuma's mother shows up. I hope, listen, I hope she dies. Yes. There's no question in my mind. You as mother, someone get a large pole, wooden pole, tie her to that pole, and burn her. Yes, sir, me. We're going witch hunting tonight, bitches. Yeah, I'll burn that bitch. Just watch her. <laughs> nice toasty. She's a bitch. Yuma's mother. Um, essentially what she does is... <sighs> it's a fucking bitch. She rips out... Um, you know that night she had, Yuma? She ripped it out. I'm like... She rips it out. And essentially takes it for her own. And calls her a doll... 
Cujo got so pissed. And he says, oh, if you kill me, you'll, you'll, you know, break the prison. And then, along with her coming out, we have these, these six, well, actually five. Because one of them gets killed. Magical criminal, 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 <laughs> criminals. And they're basically going to go on a rampage as well. And they're basically going to hunt down Natsuki, who is in a different form. That is the conception here. And basically, during this, I guess you can call it a tirade, um, during this tirade, Sayaka shows up with the tank thing. And they get on it, and they head out. Um, there's a little fight here and there. Uh, Himuragi is able to push them back. And they get out of Dodge. One of the, like I said, one of the magicians and criminals were, were destroyed. After that, he's basically saying to himself, he's telling, he's telling him, Muragi and Sayaka, we have to go take, uh, to, to take Yuma to somewhere to get checked. And also have to find Natsuki and protect her. Because they intend to kill her. So they can destroy the gate, you know, and break out of prison. See, the only person who can actually come out are the that just showed up. I don't think um, Yuma's mother can come out of the prison. So, that's happening. At the same time that's happening, we have a scene with... Um, what's her face? I forgot her name. We have a scene with um, Asagi. And Asagi, while walking home... She bumps into this guy that gives her a piece of candy and says, Don't forget your daughter. She looks behind her and you see this little girl. I'm like, hmm? So she's taking care of this little girl, gets her food and everything, and mentions the name Natsuki to her. Are you Natsuki's child? And she starts crying and shit. Most likely, that's Natsuki. Remember, she's been stripped of her powers because of what occurred. So, she has no magical powers. She's not the Witch of the Void at the moment. And she's vulnerable for attacks, to, to attacks by other magicians, other witches and stuff. So, essentially, they have to protect her. So, we have that thing, whole thing going on. Also, towards the end, one of the magicians finds her, and he's like, found you. Kujo basically takes... Yuma, well, with, with Hum Himuragi and Sayaka, to her mother. By the way, Kujo's mother? Damn! <laughs> yo, she's feeling, yo, she was feeling up Yuma. But, this is the part where I was like, oh shit! When I saw his mother, I was like, Wait a minute! Isn't that the girl from the beginning? And I'm thinking to myself, Are you kidding me? So, what I believe happened, what I believe what is going on, his mother knows about him being the fourth progenitor. Not only that, you you then you go in, they go in, and they, they're trying to help Yuma as they're in the medical facility called a a a MAC, I believe it was the, the initials. And his sister shows up, Nagisa, and she was wearing this outfit, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, that girl would... Now, this isn't a total surprise to me, because I believe it was a couple of episodes, this was a while back, this was a while back, was doing that 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 weapon they were trying to destroy, and then all of a sudden Nagisa was like she was possessed by something and was taught telling something to to Himuragi and stuff. So to some extent, Nagisa, I think I think that happened, must be some connector to somebody. She's able to do stuff. We don't know what it is, but you know. But that was a mind fuck for me. 
I'm like, what? So, what ends up happening is, his mother's looking at Yuma. She seems to be, you know, he, she's explaining to, to, to her son, Kujo, that if she, um, she, the moment her magic, she, she's losing all her magic power, and once it's all gone, she's going to die. And she says, she's basically telling him that he'll take, she'll take her to the lab and fix her out. And then she, like, before she leaves, this is a funny moment with Sayaka and Nagi. So she's like, she's like questioning her. That was, that was funny. She nods him and says, oh, take care of yourself too. And he's like hurt. So he leaves. He can't go in the lab because men are allowed in the lab. So he leaves. He gets himself fixed. He's trying to um, fix himself. And out of nowhere comes Sayaka. Um, he's like, hey, you know, because he left her with Nagisa and stuff. And she's willing to, <laughs> this was too much. She was willing to allow him to suck her blood. And she was sticking off her sock, her knee sock. Her fucking leg. Because uh, she was like, you need sexual, you know, things. Arouse. And while that was going on, you know, you, you know, Himuragi showed up. At that moment, Kujo got a sudden pain, a sudden pain, and he just collapsed. Now, preview shows that he's okay. So, I'm guessing he sucks one of their blood or whatnot, and the next preview also shows, for the next episode, we see Yuma on the bed with wires and shit. So, but the big thing for me are these two mothers. One hand, you got Yuma's mother, who's a bitch and deserves to die. I don't take, I'm not, I'm not joking around when I say that. She deserves it. Someone get, someone order a mob with torches and pitchforks and burn her to the stake. And on the other hand, we have Kujo's mother, and she's doing some stuff. But I don't know what that was. I have no idea. Absolutely no clue what Kujo's mother's up to in that first scene. What it might be, this is just my theory. Tell what you guys think. Comments below. It's possible that she is um, looking out for him. Through other means. But not because the, then that scene was totally confusing because oh she thanks her daughter for saving her, for protecting her. And I'm like Is she saying protecting Yuma? Or is she saying protecting Nagisa? It was a very confusing scene. But to say the least, it this this, this the hell I was like, yo, it's like this is a freaking crazy shit. Didn't expect it. One or one iota a bit for this to happen. But good episode. Really hyped for next week. Oh man. Only imagine. I, I have no idea what this is about. Hopefully we get into the details. Hopefully. I'm thinking we're gonna get into the details of this of this whole situation later on in the uh, in the series. But seemingly, yes, Natsuki is reverting to a real child now. Um, you know, she, the blonde, you know, is taking care of her. And they're basically going to have to find her now to protect her from these witches and wizards and all that jazz. Um, but, oh, this was really about mothers. You know, these mothers are crazy. You, you as well deserves to burn. I'm um, that serious. Burn this bitch. Burn her flesh. That's all I have to say about that. Because she deserves it. As far as Kujo's mother is, yo, she's doing shitty shit too. But it's like... She's helping him. Which is, you know... But at the same time, I did, I could not make heads or tails of that beginning. So, great episode, 5 out of 5. Can't get any more than that. 
Uh, I'm Bonkai 922. I mean, after I connected the dots, I said, I have to give this 5 out of 5. Have to. Have to. It was just too, too ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that's the story. Bonkai 922. Yuma's mother's a bitch. And Kujo's mother, man. Yo. She's perverted. That's where he gets it from. And she's pulling the cloth over over her own son's eyes. Like, yo, what are you doing? This is going to be interesting. I'll see you guys later. Peace.